Hey everyone, Laura's back. Hi! Um, I am, uh, I'm so sorry I haven't made a video in a while. <laughs> that was Daniel, <laughs> whom I actually saw and has, suc bleh, has succeeded in business without really trying! Well, actually, I didn't take the picture. My dad did. Um, but um, but I uh, I got the soundtrack, which is absolutely amazing. Daniel is such. Oh my God, his voice is just amazing, and um, and uh, it's just oh God, I love you, Daniel. Mwah. I hope you're single. <laughs> um, speaking of Daniel, I went to see him on. Oh, today is the twentieth of. Uh, July 2011, and, uh, um, sorry, um, on the 14th of July, I went to see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, and, um, on, at midnight, well, at 12.01, I, on the 15th of July 2011, I went to see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and I was just, it was so freaking amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was just, oh my god, I was bursting into tears. There were so many funny parts that I really love. Um, uh, be care careful because what I'm about to say right now could be a spoiler to y'all who've never seen the film yet. I love when, um, when Julie Waters, who uh, plays Mrs. Weasley, who, uh, she used the word bitch. Um, she called Bellatrix a bitch. No, not my daughter, bitch! <laughs> and uh, there was one scene which I found quite funny with uh, with Maggie Smith, who uh, who played he's um, Professor McGonagall. Um, she uh, uh, there was a spell that she wanted to use for a long time, and um, and she sort of said it. I've always wanted to use that spell. <laughs> Overall, every single moment of the final Harry Potter film was just absolutely amazing. However, it was so so sad that it was um that it was just it was it was it was so sad and that's the end. My favorite part was at the end, um, when um when with the nineteen years later, uh, the epilogue with all the kids. But actually there was but actually, um it got me to thinking, why didn't Joe Rowling um write a book on uh um why didn't she write a book on uh, on the kids because we we want to find out so much more about that so hopefully uh, jk Rowling, you can watching this um i think that maybe you can uh, you you can do that you, you could probably do that as well so um so yeah i mean we want more of the potters so it was um anyway um but yeah on the uh, on on the fourteenth, I um I with a lot of help from uh, my friend Taylor Hall, I love you. Um, we she uh, she helped me uh, make made a scar on uh, on my forehead, and I actually had my uh, pen wand, but I lost it in the theater. Um, and uh, and and um the most sad part for me was um and the most interesting part was that um again spoiler um the sad part was the professor snape dies um and uh and she i don't know he's um i mean a lot of people who uh, who are fans of alan rickman I mean, I knew um, that a lot of people are, are a big Professor Snape fans. So, um, I mean, I can't deny Alan Rickman is kind of good look, kind of um, good looking. <laughs> um, but um, but at the same time, I'm really, yeah, you know, I'm really sorry for him because uh, he was uh, he because in this film he got a chance to like Alan got a chance to really like. Cry for some reason. Um, when um, when um, when and uh, when he found out, found Lily, uh, Lily Potter on the ground, 
um, on, uh, at the house at Godric's Hollow. Um, again, spoiler, sorry! Um, but, um, but it was just absolutely sad. It's just... Um, and, uh, and a lot of people who have died... Well, I'm really happy because uh, when Harry went into the, uh, I think it was the Forbidden Forest, um, he found every single per person, uh, well, their ghosts, um, ev everyone was there, um, however, um, when, uh, when, when I was thinking, uh, when I saw a TV spot the other day, um, well, last week, I uh, was immediately thinking, hmm, um, with the, uh, with the ghosts and all that, I wonder if Cedric's, uh, ghost will appear. If so, mom, my, my mother will be so incredibly happy, <laughs> but unfortunately it didn't. However, my mom was screaming when, uh, when, uh, Breaking Dawn, the trailer, was, uh, on the screen, uh, at midnight, at the midnight showing. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and I really, I'm really glad, uh, that somewhere around the end, um, that Draco, Draco Malfoy, played by Tom Felton, who, um, I think, but he is a sweetheart in real life. Um, if you ever get a chance to meet him, let me know, and, uh, c comment down below, um, yeah, I'm really glad uh, when uh, when Harry saves him um, from the uh, from the fire of the room of requirement requirement. Sorry, um, I um I really I'm really glad that uh, he he's just, he's uh, transformed in a way. Um, he goes from bad to good, from hating Harry to um, well, I mean I think he still hates Harry, but uh, but at the same time I really think that uh, he uh, he's um, he's um, secretly thanking him for saving his life. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm really glad, and my favorite part, actually, was, uh, with Neville. Oh my god, Matt Matthew Lewis, way to go, my friend! Oh my god, he's just absolutely amazing. Um, he, uh, he had the sword of Godfrey Gryffindor in his hand, and he killed, he killed... Nagini, who is the final Horcrux. Uh, again, spoiler, but if you read the books, um, I guess it wouldn't be a spoiler, but if you haven't seen the movie, sorry. Um, but yeah, he was just absolutely amazing, and um, I just, I'm, uh, when I was looking at that, I was, um, I was just immediately, um, everyone in the, in the theater started applauding, and, uh, and speaking of the theater, uh, there were a lot of people behind me who were, um, die-hard Harry Potter fans. They were all dressed as, uh, different characters from the movie. And, uh, and a lot of, and some people had, um, had, um, uh, they had, um, they had, had, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying! Um, but, uh, but, yeah, um, anyway, back to the movie. Um, when, uh, when, and, uh, Mrs. Weasley kills, uh, Bellatrix Lestrange. Everyone applauded at that. And, um, and I'm just really, really grateful that, you know, we got, to, we get to see a little bit of a bitchy side to, um, to Mrs. Weasley, actually. And, um, and I also really think that, um, yeah, I, I just, <laughs> I really, really, I'm just absolutely incredibly happy that, uh, hang on, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah, I'm just really sad that it's the end of Harry Potter, but I'm really glad that, uh, but, um, at the same time, I'm really happy that, uh, that, uh, that I, uh, that I got a chance to experience it, so it was just absolutely incredible. So, um, uh, apart from, uh, from the fact that, uh, that, um, that, for the first like ten minutes, it was mostly previews. But um, but um, but at the same time, I'm just really, uh, I guess uh, they were waiting for the audience for like big. Uh, there were just I guess the urgency, the uh, the anxiety of every sing single um people and person in the audience. I guess it was um, I don't know, but uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm really and I'm really glad that uh. 
And my favorite part actually was the kiss between Ron, bleh, the kiss between Ron and Hermione in the Chamber of Secrets. I was so excited. I've been waiting for years. I mean, I mean, and I, I think every single Harry Potter fan was uh, waiting for this for years. Sorry, I have to put my hair down. Um, everyone was just, oh my god, it was just. It was so fantastic. I mean, I wish it could have been a little bit longer, though. But um, but, yeah. When uh, I I'm really glad that uh, Ron married Hermione, <laughs> and I knew that um that Ginny and Harry would uh, always be together. So since uh, I just I just knew that uh, that it was just yeah <laughs> yeah. And uh, and in, in the end, um, in the epilogue, um, the girl who was playing um. Uh, Malfoy's wife was actually Tom Felton's real life girlfriend. Um, I guess this is her first acting debut. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, every single thing that I love that about this film, I absolutely loved. It was just absolutely fantastic. I just loved every single second of it, and um, and I really can't wait for the DVD. And I I love the fact that I got to see ev uh, both parts of the film to see how it all comes together. So, um, so yeah, if you ever get a chance, go see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!